back for local headlines after lunchtime news. Now it's over to Paula Winston for the weather out. Good morning. It's not such good news today, I'm afraid. The area of high pressure that's been given us such beautiful weather over the last few days is moving eastward to be replaced by an unsettled front that will bring unpredictable weather to Wales into the Midlands, which may be good news for farmers, but not such good news for any of you planning outdoor events, as rain and lower temperatures are likely tonight and through to tomorrow. So whatever you're doing, <coughs> excuse me, in the next few days, whatever your plans, make sure you carry an umbrella just in case. Looking forward to the future, um, whatever. If there is any extra cash sloshing around the place, I'm first in line. Well, how about a bit of a rise for you trusty receptionist then? What, saving for a new pair of shoes, are we? You're striking for a high pay, Sarah. Right on, I'm with you on that one. We do you have other responsibilities than just buying shoes, you know? Like a deposit on a flat would be nice. Don't know why I bother. Thank you, Martin. Call you later. We need to see a doctor right away, please. Right. Do you have an appointment? Do I need one? No, oh, it's you. You're her. Sense, but is there anywhere more private that we could be quieter? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, just pop through to the staff room and I'll be right with you. This is better, isn't it? This is so embarrassing. I hate doing things like this. But if the press get hold of the fact that I'm here, they'll be down on you like a flock of vultures. You know what they're like? Oh, yeah, terrible. <sighs> the thing is, I had a bit of a funny turn this morning. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know, I saw it. Did you? Mm. Oh, no. Was it terribly? Oh, no. <laughs> I just I don't think I could face the press this morning. Look, no, don't worry, you'll be back to be safe here. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure all your patients are perfectly nice people. But all it takes is one member of the public to spot a face and they're on the phone to the papers. Yeah, well, you can't take care of it, can you? Well, the thing is, it's the temptation. I mean, journalists, they pay a lot of money these days for a celebrity story, even someone as insignificant as me. Really? Hmm. And the local papers, they're just as bad as the nationals. I mean, some of the lengths they'll go to to get a celebrity story. Like Terry Parsons from the Birmingham Beacon. He is the worst. Oh, I read him every day. Well, you know what I mean. He is terrible. Oh, yeah, uh, terrible, yeah. So if it's not too much trouble, do you think maybe I could slip in and see the doctor and then I can be out and they'll be none the wiser? OK, well, actually, I can fit you in because George has had a no-show. George? Is he nice? Oh, no, um, Dr Woodson's a woman. Oh, actually, here she is. Um, Dr. Woodson, I have managed to replace your no show. Oh, right, okay. This is Miss Westlake. Oh, hello. She's your patient. Paula Westlake off the telly. Oh, right, sorry, you'll have to excuse me. I don't get much chance to watch telly in my line of work. Um, Miss Westlake had a funny turn this morning, right in the middle of a live television broadcast. And the thing is, she can't be seen in the waiting room, because if the press gets hold of it, quite frankly, they'll have a field day, you know what it's like. So what we need to do is keep it a bit hush-hush. I'll make you coffee. Right, thank you, Sarah. Um, Miss Westlake, if you want to, follow me. I appreciate you seeing me at such short notice, Doctor. Oh, that's okay. Do you want to tell me what happened this morning? It was silly, really. I felt a bit woozy. 
any other symptoms apart from a bit woozy? Well, I, I must have sort of fainted. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all right now. Look at me. Light as rain. Just a second. Have you fainted before? Good Lord, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I must have been very tired or something. I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Are you sure? Because you shouldn't just faint. No, the studio rather insisted I came here. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother you. OK, well, then perhaps we should check you over. Are you um, on any medication at the moment? No. Um, any history of high blood pressure? Just want to slip your jacket off. No, it's nothing like that. Do you want to tell me what it is like, then? Well, uh, it's rather embarrassing. I hope this is confidential. Yes, of course. Well, I, um, I, I drank over a lot last night. Mm-hmm. How much? The best part of a bottle of vodka. OK, that's a lot of vodka. I don't make a habit of it. So what was the occasion? Oh, nothing. I was home. Alone. OK, so you drank the best part of a bottle of vodka on your own at home. We've been having our problems. My husband and me, that is. You might as well know. Spit up. It's out now. <laughs> he has made such a fool of me. What's everyone going to say? Poor old Paula Westlake, abandoned for a younger woman. Well, uh, these things happen, don't they? I come home tired. And of course, he's a man of a certain appetite. And I blame myself. You can't blame yourself. No. And it's not my fault. He's left me in the lurch with booze and drugs as my own company. You said drugs. At first, it was a line or two to pat me up before the breakfast show, and then one at lunch, another one in the evening. And how much did you take last night? Too much. I must say, Paula, you look remarkably well on it. Oh, thank goodness for makeup, people. Paula, let me ask you one question. Are you doing this kind of thing regularly? I've never painted before. No, I mean, are you drinking and taking drugs regularly? Because if you are, I'd like to suggest that you go to the hospital, perhaps with some more test, you know, liver function, kidney, heart, the work. I don't it's think that would be necessary. Well, it... It seems to me that you're leading a very stressful and unhealthy lifestyle. Yeah. And, well, I'm sure you're aware of the health risks, but also the legal implications, too. Billy, it's just a blip. Yeah, but you said your husband had left you. I just... Fuck me. What's wrong with her, exactly? Shh, shh, keep your voice down. What? I don't know you listening. Oh, I see. Mum's the word. We've got a celebrity yes, in the house. Well, I don't find it funny myself. She's got a right to privacy like everyone else. They're terrible, the papers, you know. They pay huge amounts for celebrity story these days. I wouldn't exactly describe the local weather girl as a celebrity. Much better, thank you. I'm very grateful. I suppose I've got better at home. Some rest. Doctor's orders. <laughs> no. They're out there. Where? The journalists. I'm sure I can see someone in the bushes. There's someone up a tree. I don't think I can face anyone at the moment. Okay, um, well, maybe you should just stay here and rest. Would you mind? Yeah, yeah, that's okay, isn't it, Ben? Hi, Dom. Hi. Can I help you? That's her for telly, isn't it? Really? What's up with her? No idea. She looks a bit poor, then. Eh? Are you here to see a doctor? Oh, yeah. It's uh, the same doctor she saw. And that would be... Oh, slip my mind for a moment. Tell uh, it you. Oh, here's Sarah. 
I'm sure she'll be able to help you. Um, this gentleman says he has an appointment. Miss Davis. Hi. Hi, uh, what name is it, please? Terry Parsons. Terry Parsons? Yeah. I'm afraid all our lists are closed. What would it cost to open them? Beg your pardon? It would have cut the hundred quid getting through those doors. Call it private health insurance if you like. Two hundred pounds? Okay, two fifty. That's not bad, is it? Three hundred tops. But for that, you'll have to give me the name of the doctor she saw. That's enough. Great. Check, okay? No, I mean, that is enough of your nonsense. You can't see a doctor, you can't see anyone, now, would you? Please just leave the surgery. All right, love. No, don't you get excited? Look, if you change your mind, I'll be around for a while. And remember, 300 quid? That ain't bad for five minutes' work, is it? No. Not bad at all. Bye, Mrs. Davis. Hello? Oh. oh hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Kwame. I just wanted to see that you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm as jumpy as a jackrabbit today. I'm not surprised. That must have come as a bit of a shock. Yeah, I can't quite get used to the idea they follow one everywhere. Well, I suppose that's the price you pay for fame. Oh, as soon as you're in someone's living room. It's a bit of fair game these days. Well, it's okay. You're safe here. Just who would have told the press that I'm here? Oh, this is crazy. I don't know. Well, it must have been someone out there. No, I can assure you that no one here would do anything like that. I can't handle this. Then why do you? I mean, uh, why do you put up with all of this? I'm fine. Just everyone's been so kind. Look, um, if there's anything I can do, anything at all. Thank you. Oh, not our star patient again. I mean, yeah, there's all these journalists hanging around trying to get a story on her. I don't know why they bother. She's only a weather girl. Shh! She might hear you. Heaven's sake, Ben. It's not like we've got Liza Minnelli in there. No, but the poor woman's in a state. Yeah, for which she's only got herself to blame. I wonder who would have called the papers. I mean, after she came out from your room, there was... Not suggesting I did. No, of course not. Sarah. Well, someone did it. Ben. Okay, not Sarah, but who? Right, well, while you're searching the premises for moles, I'm going to grab myself some lunch. Make sure Liza with the Z's not here when I get back. You should think it a live television, doing the breakfast news. A sportsman for Miss Westlake says she's suffering from flu and just needs to spend the day in bed. Her husband, Charles accountant Philip Westlake, was unavailable for comment at the couple's leather return earlier today. Get well soon. Excuse me. Can you confirm that she's taken the drugs over there? Is it serious? Would you please? This way, this way, this way. What the hell is going on? It's the press. Yeah, I can see that. What's she still doing here? We've got appointments this afternoon. Oh, George, we can't just throw her to the wolves. Well, tell him she's slipped out the back way. They're watching that too. Oh, I don't care. Tell him she's tunneled out. Just get rid of them. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, you can all go home now because there is nothing for you here. What's wrong with her, love? Is she critical? Is she pregnant? None of your business. Right. Who's the father, right. as she said? Is it true she's having an affair? When's it due? OK, you want a statement? Fine. Yeah, I'll give you a statement. Whatever is going on in this poor woman's life is none of your business. You've got no right to be here, and unless you clear the area, within 15 minutes, I'm going to call the police. What do you want? I oh. thought I told you to get lost. Oh, it's all right. Calm down. You think you are making a living out of poor people's misery? No, just a minute, love. Before I've you start to say to you. Before you start throwing accusations around, let me set you straight on a couple of things. What do you think she's doing in there, in your Paula Westlake? Well, she's trying to get a bit of privacy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So how come the place is crawling the press then? Because obviously someone told you that she was here. Who did you think that was, eh? Wasn't you, I suppose? Nah, of course not. You've got principles. Order those doctors. Mm. Well, they wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, somebody told you. Yeah. I wonder who. Oh, don't be so... It's all a game, this. She makes a move, we make a move. 
And at the end of the day, if we're all very lucky, we get a nice story out of it. Right. I'm leaving. I really can't put you to any more trouble. They're still out there. Well, I must face them, then. You're absolutely right. This is the life I chose. I must face the consequences. Here. Wish me luck. Here she is. Paula, is it something serious? Will you be able to work again? Please, I just want When's to carry you on. Paula? Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? I had nothing to say. Good, isn't she? Come on, Doc, you've got to give us something. This is out of order. You can't just come here and try and get a story out of one of our patients. We've got issues of confidentiality which you lot are compromising. It's in the public interest, though, and the public is interested in Paula Westlake. No, what's in the public's interest is getting a strong message across that they can trust their health service, that we would treat each and every one, whoever they are, with respect and professionalism. Yeah, go on. Oh, there are ethical issues surrounding medicine and the media which you might want to write about, rather than trying to make a story out of the personal misfortune of one of our patients. Medicine and the media, eh? This is good. What's your name, Doc? Ben Kwame. K-W-A-R-M-E. Thank you. Will that be all? Yes, I think so. Sure there's nothing else you'd like us to do for you? No, thank you. A little cup of tea won't go, miss. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't do teas. Oh. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I've got an important call to make. I bet you do. A private call. Oh, I'm sorry. Just not invade your privacy now, must we? I beg your pardon. What exactly are you playing at, Paula? I'm oh, sorry. I have to make this call. I mean, do you think we're all born yesterday? I really don't know what... Look all the papers, Paula. I haven't a clue. Well, that's funny, because I think I do. <coughs> oh! Speak of the devil. Excuse me? He's, um, at your agent. I need to congratulate you on your wonderful performance. <sighs> Please, don't let me intrude. Well, that sorted them out. So you told them, did you? Yeah, put them straight in a few things. About a patient's right to privacy and all that. Among other things. Oh, three cheers for you. What? Oh, come on, Ben, can't you see she's a fake? Who? Paula? Yeah. She's taking us all for a ride. Don't be so ridiculous. You saw how upset she was. Yeah, she's doing it for publicity. <laughs> You've been reading too many celebrity gossip magazines. Life isn't like that. This isn't Hollywood. It's Leverbridge. Yeah, well, she's a favourite, isn't she? And I won't have the lives of my patients to to some kind of cheap soap opera. Hello, surgery. Yep, yeah, just a sec. Doctor. It's for you. Hello, Ben Kwame. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not busy at all. Oh, thank you. Um, I just wanted to put me straight in a few things. Really? <laughs> when? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Well, I guess um, I'll wait for your call. OK, bye. See, I told you. What? That was a man from the radio who wants to put me on his talk show. Really? Well, only to sound surprised. Talking about medical ethics. It should be good. Really good. I've always been interested in the way that medicine's portrayed in the media. Listen, we're going to have to get you out of here. Evening surgery is about to begin and patients will be arriving in a minute. It's high time I went anyway.
So it's Paula. Hey, I didn't realize you were so upset about this. But come on, it's okay. <laughs> it's crocodile tears. Testic? For stage or screen? Allergy tested? Apply under the eye for natural looking. Paula! Hola. Hang on, just one. It's okay, I'm leaving. Excuse me, I think you forgot something. It's all right, I've got another one. I can see that. Look, you can't just. Just what, Doctor? I can't believe your nerve. I can't believe it. Come on. <laughs> you don't really expect me to read the weather reports for the rest of my life in some crummy little TV station on the outskirts of Birmingham, do you? Leatherbridge may be good enough for you, darling, but some of us have got ambition. You are ruthless. Sticks and stones, Doctor. <laughs> Excuse me. I uh, think you find that door still locked. Don't want any ruthless journalists getting in, do we? Very effective, your tears. Stick. Look at me. You're a mess. You need to learn to control them. So now that you've got what you want, you're just going to leave us. Please. You lie to us. Come on, Doctor. What harm have I really done? You told the press that you were here. You brought the whole pack down on us. Not guilty. Oh, I bet that was a bloke outside. What was he? Your um, agent, manager, boyfriend? Ooh, full marks, Miss Marple. You've brought this practice into disrepute. That is a very serious matter. I really don't think so, darling. You're going to be on the telly. This practice will be the most famous in the Midlands. Tomorrow morning, you'll be turning them away in droves. I've done you a favour. That's not how it works. And as for you, Dr. Conway, I've given you a nice little entree into your very own career in the media. Isn't that nice? So, as you can see, I've done no one any harm. Mm. Apart from the small matter of wasting NHS money and time, which I think you'll find is fraud and deception. <laughs> Absurd. No, this is absurd. I'll tell you what, shall I go out there and tell those journalists and the TV cameras what you've just told me? Because I think that would make a bigger story. Yes, TV Weather Girl cons NHS out of money for cheap publicity stunts. I can see it now. Okay. How about I make you a big fat donation? You can't pay your way out of this one, love. Oh, hold on, then. No, we don't need a dirty money. Yeah, but we do need a new defibrillator. And a donation would be nice. How much does one of those cost? Three grand last time I checked. Oh, come on. I'm sure your manager can afford it. Okay. It's a deal, darling. What are you having? Oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> I do. Well, we've had a mixed bag of weather across the region today, with some unexpected storms breaking out in areas of low pressure. But looking forward to seeing it. It's handy to us, it's professional. You say that, eh? I'm not complaining. You've got a new defibrillator. You can't believe you screwed that money out of her. Screwed? She gave us that money out of the kindness of her heart. She can't give out patients details to the press. You know that. It's a total breach of confidentiality. You see, I know that, Ben. You know that. But I've got the impression Paula Westlake didn't. <laughs> you see, people like her can't imagine anyone not going to the press. Mm. <laughs> Before I say goodnight, I'd just like to thank David for his attending and to say not to worry about me. She's doing it. She is actually doing it. Um, because just like the weather tomorrow, I'll be fine. <laughs> you see, just think then, you could have been a celebrity just like her. No, nope, I'm a doctor. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> A new Fly on the Wall documentary series goes behind the scenes of a personal injury compensation firm to see its office staff dealing with countless claims. No win, no fee. Starts tonight at 7 over on BBC Two.